reason I came to India in the first place was because I was invited by somebody who was part of an organization to have an influence indirectly on a lot of people. So working with the influencers is the key to doing that. So South people in South Africa, somebody there reached out. India, somebody reached out. South Korea, somebody's reached out. Like a country, like a country, like a country, it's because you work at a country level. So one of the things you're looking at: how can we, as individuals, impact society that are really well? Right. So by finding the people who already impact and working with them. So it was the reason I came to India in the first place was because. I was invited by somebody who was part of an organization that was creating jobs for women as teachers um, and was invested in the education of children for the future and who had a network or were beginning to develop that network all over India. So they invited me and I start and for a number of things, but then I started to work with them and their team. So they were then influencing the people who were working in all of the states in India, who were working with teachers, who were working with children. So that level removed, you're influencing the influence who influence, and that way you can reach a lot of people indirectly. You have an influence indirectly on a lot of people. So working with the influencers is the key to doing that. Yes. Has that been a situation where you have chosen to reach out and work with a country? No. No, it's usually been the other way around. So people have reached out. So, um, so South people in South Africa, somebody there reached out. India, somebody reached out. South Korea, somebody's reached out. I haven't fully followed that one through but but that's been the way that it's happened which makes it very much easier because um, it means they are presupposing that they know what I do and the way I do it so usually people come um, approach me because they've seen me work they've seen me do a conference or they've read my book or they've experienced me on a training and then they reach out. So they're reaching out because they know what I represent. So it's not like somebody asking me to tender for business, for example, that they just happen to know, you know, that I do this kind of training. So that means it's 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 already moving in the right direction. It's like people who ask me to work in an organization. Sometimes, you know, I've had people say, well, we'd like to give you these people to work with because they're difficult, you know, and we've got problems with them. But well, they're not the ones to work with. Work with the ones who want to do this. Work with those people. Now, that way you create a, a centre of excellence for those people. And it attracts other people. It's like, don't push the river, basically. Yes. So the people in South Africa, I'm working with an organisation that supports people who have come out of gangs and off drugs and want to help reform other young people, youth, who are perhaps caught up in that or who may be caught up in that. So, so I'm working with people who are creating a platform and a forum for people who are, are already, have already changed and are committed to helping that change for other young people. So. So that way, it reaches a lot of people. If I, if I chunk this down a little bit, um, so what would you call um, has been your strategy? Thank you. 
individual expresses organizations and societies. Is it the same difficult to talk about this parish? Like I might work with somebody one on one, you mean? Yes. Well, I, it's not an either or. You know, I work with individuals and I work with organizations yes. and I work with communities. Yes. Um, and I do conferences and I write and they all support each other. So very often the people that I work with one on one are often, not always, some of those influencers who want particular support. So it, it's, I say it's not exclusively them, but that can be one form that the support can take. So you give that one person. It's like working with the head of an organisation. You give that one person coaching so that they change, they grow, they develop a way of being. Well, they're the example to um, all the people who work with them. Um, so, um, if you ask clean questions of what I'm saying, it will go in. <laughs>